ID Fanker MMA Fight Corner with Isaac Valley Flag. Strike Force transfer, made your debut against a very seasoned veteran here in the Octagon. How did you feel about your performance? Uh, I'm going to say it again for the third time. Yeah. Uh, I'm not happy with it. Um, I, I'm happy I beat Eves. You know, uh, Eves is, uh, I'm a fan of Eves. I'm, uh, it's an honor to fight a guy like Eves. I'm not happy with what I did in the cage tonight at all. And how will you go back to camp and try to refocus on what you had done in that fight and try to make some changes for your next performance? Uh, well, Greg and Wink always give me a hard time because I start picking myself apart right away instead of enjoying my victories. So I'll go back and kind of debrief with them and watch tape uh, and heal up a little bit. I know I'm sick, so I'll, I'll kind of rest a little bit and then I then get back to work. And, and uh, the stuff that I can think of right away is I need to get to my wrestling immediately. So. You had an 11 fight unbeaten streak as far as I know, and uh, going against 12, against 12, 12, 12 yeah, 12, counting this. Well, no, there's one that's not on there. Oh, is that really right? Yeah. Oh, can you tell us about that fight that's not on there? Uh, it's a guy, uh, it was a hometown fight, and uh, and I beat the guy really, I beat the guy I was in the face, and it got stopped, and he, until this day, said that I didn't beat him. Uh, so, uh, I'm upset about that, and I had that one every time. Alright, and is that, um, with the UFC record, have they fixed that at all since you came over? No, the transfer? No, no, it probably won't get fixed, but I don't care. Uh, now I know. Yeah. I'll make sure I write it yes. correctly when go, I do. Go tell it to the mom or whatever. There you yeah. go. So. All right. So um, prior to coming here to the UFC, you had actually tried out for Tough, I believe, three times. Yeah, three and times. Just didn't make the cut. Can you tell us about those experiences and how frustrating it was, thinking maybe you would never make it here? I, I knew I was going to be in the UFC. I just didn't think I was a good reality TV star. You know, uh, I'm pretty mild-mannered. Uh, I'm not an outrageous dude like that idiot Julian Lane who was on the last season or anything like that. You know, I'm pretty even killed, uh, mellow guy. So, uh, so I knew I wasn't, you know, the right material for uh, for reality TV. My my fighting skills I knew were always there, and I was ready to be in the UFC eventually. And now that you're finally here, you've got your split decision win. Uh, how do you feel about that when taking home the split decision? Do you feel that there was anything that you could have really done to finish the fight at any point? Uh, I think I might have had him hurt once. I, I'm not sure, but. Uh, I, I think I hurt him with a body shot, and I might have hurt him with a, a right hand at one point. But uh, I'm not sure. He's like he's a vet. He knows how to he knows how to recover, and he knows how to show that he's not hurt. So uh, so I didn't uh, I didn't capitalize where I should have. Uh, I didn't push where I should have. And uh, like I said, I'm just not happy with what I did tonight. Last thing, uh, I know that you're coming here from Strike Force, and you're in the 155 division. Obviously, it's just one of the most stacked in the UFC. Uh, how do you feel about some of the guys that you knew from Strike Force that maybe didn't get into the UFC? Have you been able to speak with anybody, and I guess gotten their take on the guys who made it, the guys who haven't? Uh, I speak with Connor Hewn every now and then, um, and you know, he, of course, he's bummed that he's not in the UFC. You know, but he's happy that the UFC is actually paying for all the surgery stuff when he didn't think they were going to at first. So, and, and you know, he's. He's a guy who should be fighting at fit 45 anyway, so I'm sure if he gets a couple wins, he'll hopefully be back over here. So, uh, you know, other than that, I don't talk to a whole lot of the guys. Uh, I talk to James, or, you know, like, I think I tweet back and forth with James Terry and Justin Wilcox a little bit, but uh, that's it, really. Okay. So. Well, we wish you all the best in the UFC and your future endeavors, and congratulations on your first one. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. How many days?